So, you actually made it, Prodigy. Congratulations. Even though I'm not sure everyone is as glad about that as the Grand Master. How about you? You told me sadly seem ready to burst with gladness about my consecration neither. Should I? I don't know if you deserve to be here. Sakharesh does. She has proven it for close to ten years now. But you, huh. Maybe there is something to the Grand Master's talk about you being one of these emissaries. And maybe you can indeed help us in some way. But you're still an outsider. No matter which crest you wear on your armor, that won't change. Well, I suppose you could say that, yes. Natara, Teolor, and I passed our novitiate together. So the three of you all joined the Order at the same time? You make it sound as if the Order is some kind of mercenary guild. You don't join the Order, you're chosen for it. Both Heranthiel and I come from a bloodline older than the stones of this temple. It was our path to become Keepers, and we followed it. It wasn't much of a choice. That's a different story, and not one for today. You make it... It was our path to become Keepers, and we followed it. It wasn't much of a choice. If you had a deal, we came Keepers together. Did you also serve in Idodan, like him? Did you fight in a great war? Um, no. But enough of the chit-chat. I'm really not in the mood for it. Good luck with whatever the Grand Master has planned for you. Mm. of you. I will honor. Thank you. In life. Safe travels. In and may his light guide you. Yes.
the fabled prodigy. I hope you can live up to what they say about you. Prophetess. Of course they have. You know how these bureaucrats are, but they will do it. Very good. Have you heard? Apparently the Blue Islands Coalition sent an emissary here to Enderal. Despite the wars, they are bold. You gotta give them that. see the course the Order has taken since you came back as disquieting. Narazul's mages in the temple? An outlander as a keeper? It's a lot to take in. I know, Jorik. But someone has to deal with the threat. And if we don't, no one will. Hmm, yes. I suppose you're right. Prophetess, did you find your way around? What he's doing. I guess so, yes. Good. It is important that you get adjusted to this place. It will be the base of all operations to come. Right now, we are still in the dark as to the true nature of this cycle. All we have are fragments, but we will change that. There are two trails we have found. I want you to go after both of them. The first one has to do with the stone fragments from old Rationgrad. Pegast has not yet told you, but all of them together form a so-called sigil stone, which we urgently need. The Arcanists have already put it together, but we still lack a part of the ritual to activate it. And for that, we need the memory of a dead person. The second trail revolves around a discovery we made in the Heartland. It could be a significant, if not the only, prospect we have in this fight. Where do you want to start? Let's start with the stone. What do you need it for? It's simple. I've told you that the Pyrians knew about the cycle, and that they too battled it before they vanished. The Sigil Stone was a magical defense they created to protect themselves from the Red Madness. That how? Through small fragments mm. that segregate once a certain ritual is performed on it. Wear one of these fragments and it will serve you like a shield for your spirit. The stone won't produce enough for all citizens of Ark, but enough for all of us keepers and the guard. The problem is that we lack knowledge about this ritual, and those who have it have been dead for millennia. So that's why we need the memory of a dead person. Correct. The entire plan revolves around a discovery which is exhibited in the Chronicum. The frozen corpse of a Pyrian, which a fisherman found adrift in the Northern Sea some years ago. And we have to, what, uh, somehow access his memories? Yes, the ice prevented his body from decaying. But go to the Chronicum and speak to Archmagister Maragil, he will be able to explain it better than I can. Walk blessed. Walk blessed.
stone fragments which really shine in the ice hitting of the Russian grad together result in a seashell stone which is supposed to protect the order from the remnants. The problem is, to bring the fragments together we need the words of a ritual which only the high priests of the Baryans knew. The key for this mission success lies in the frozen Baryan, whose body was protected from the gain by the ice. That's the prophetess, isn't it? Yes. But in this place, thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament. They hate me, but they need me. What? the one they call the prophet, aren't you? Congratulations so what's on so passing the trial. About this? To me, yes. our pal here looks like your average crypt corpse. Well, he isn't. Do you see this marking on his forehead? That's a symbol of the Ischian. Hmm? One of the two priest castes who reigned over the Pyrian Empire like the Lighthorn did over Vin. He was no high priest, but more than an acolyte. Let's just hope he participated in the manufacture of the Sigil Stone back in the Pyrian era. Well, hoping can't hurt. But look, we have company. Yes, Belvarek, Archmagister, how's the situation? Walk blessed, Grandmaster. We're fine. Uh, everything is ready. So this is her? Yes, this is the Prophetess. Hmm. Interesting. Truly interesting. I imagined you to be... different. I'm Lexiel Merigil, Archmagister of the Holy Order. Pleased to make your acquaintance. So, where do we start? Has the Grand Master already informed you of the goal of this mission? We are supposed to somehow get the memory from this dead barrier, because he knows the missing words for the ritual. Correct. Now you're wondering how will this be possible. This is where the word of the dead comes into play. An old relic we'll need to find. The word of the dead? I thought that was a legend. No, it exists. And we also know where. Just so you understand, the Word of the Dead is an artifact that allows entering a deceased person's mind to relive his last memories as if they were your own. And you want to do just that with our frozen pal here. This is the grand plan, right? Right. You'll need to locate the Word of the Dead, teleport the Pyrian's body to you, and then enter his thoughts. And there you'll have to look for the words of the ritual I 
sa mal kedy into this memories. What is that do I need to look for? Well, we only lack the last words of this ritual. What you have to look for is an ornamental scroll, which looks just like the one on the drawing I'll give you in a moment. All you have to do is remember the glyphs and the scroll, then write them down once you're back in the waking world. True, but we're talking about a different form of magic. It works similarly to the forbidden school of entropy. How am I supposed to find my way around in his memory? I don't speak Barrier. That's right, but the priest himself did. And according to the legend, this should allow you to understand. Well, this is... There's an old manor in Andral's West that belongs to an old collector of artifacts. We received a tip that the word of the dead is in his possession. Hang on. Are you talking about this odd fellow with the puppets? The aged man from the folk song? I am. You won't take it. It will be enough to find it. Use it on the Pyrean and then leave. You will travel to the manor with Dalvaric, wait for nightfall, and then introduce yourself to the aged man as a fellow collector of artifacts. Then you will offer him this brooch, and if all goes well, he will offer you a quarter for the night to negotiate in the morning. Then it's all a matter of timing. Sneak out of your room, look for the word of the dead, and teleport the Pyrean to you. Why all this secrecy? Can the Order just force the aged man to give up the artifact? A good question, but no. The aged man is special, so to speak. Even the Lightborn ordered us to let him live in peace. The Black Guardian knows why. So, if we have to trick him, we will at least do it inconspicuously, which is why you and the mercenary are well suited for the task. No one will connect your faces to the Holy Order. And what do we do if something goes wrong? Then you'll flee. There must be no violence, no matter what happens. Archmagister? Yes, well, that is a good point. We don't know, because we don't even know what the artifact looks like. But how goes the saying? The proof of the eating is in the pudding. We'll manage somehow. And even if we don't, it definitely sounds like an adventure. It's a great responsibility, be aware of that. But I have faith in both of you. Now get going as soon as you can. This mission will be fruitful. I can feel it. And there they go. I thought you want to be on a ship back to Cali by now. <laughs> I thought so too, yeah. But when the offer from the Holy Grand Master came in person, I just couldn't say no. Honestly, the whole thing sounds damn interesting. Travel the memories of a dead Pyrean? I'd do that for free. Plus, you're good company. It was quite a good talk we had back in the Nomad. So, shall we go? Yep. Just meet me at the Myrids Tower at the Western Cliff. I'll go grab my stuff now. Pathlessness, wherever hmm? you look, where is this supposed to lead?
prophetess. So, you actually made it, Prodigy. Congratulations. Even though I'm not sure everyone is as glad about that as the Grand Master. Yes? Walk blessed, friend. Where are you headed? Sure. Where to? Walk blessed, my lady. Where do you need to go? Ah, there you are. Ready to go? What are your thoughts on the current events? <laughs> what? You mean the living dead, the Watiers everywhere, the frenzied civilians? I'd say this country's seen better times. But at least something happens. It makes this place less boring. Yeah, I did. Why do you ask? What made you come back to Endora? That's a good question. I suppose in the end, it was just a hunch I had. Plus, all these civil wars in other countries didn't exactly invite one to stay. Which countries have you been to? Now, aren't you inquisitive? Let me think. I spent most of my time abroad in Kira, and also a couple of years on the Isles of Kilei. Uh, and there was this mission that led me to Maiar Aranath once. You've been to Maiar Aranath. Isn't that not deserted? Yeah, it is. I was there with a group of mercenaries. We were hired to get something from a tower in the old capital. Not a nice spot of earth, truly. There's this fog everywhere, and with every step you take, you have to be careful the swamps don't get the better of you. But of course, that's also what makes it exciting. What was it like on Kile? Oof. Different. As beautiful as the Isles are, there's always this feeling of rush and competition. Have you ever heard of the game, Penny? 
On Kile, it's not a crime if a merchant tries to cheat a customer. It's the customer's fault if he doesn't see the fraud. But if he does, the merchant owes him a token penny. It's bizarre, isn't it? But over there, it's common practice. And tell me something about Kira. <laughs> what am I, a traveling tome? I'm afraid I'm not a very good storyteller. But uh, Kira's great. The people there are so much freer in their way of thinking. There are the great bazaars, uh, the palaces of the merchant lords, and the fortress of the mages' circles. Uh, but you just have to see it for yourself someday. Maybe someday. It's hard to leave as a traveling mercenary as well. <laughs> well, I guess that depends on where you're standing. Of course, times can be tough, especially if you come to a new city or even country where you know nobody. But if you're good at what you do, which I am, there's always work, everywhere. And yeah, I don't eat God's tongue for breakfast, but it was always enough for a roof over my head when I wanted, and some other earthly pleasures. And that's what life's all about, isn't it? Keep your chin up. That's cool. Wonderful. Here, this is the place where the aged man's manor is supposed to be. Lead on. I'll follow you. So much to do. Eager to so explore, to aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway.
explore, aren't you? Take your time, I'll wait. I can use a break anyway. That's the big question. Apparently this old fellow, the aged man, manufactures them in his manor, and then places them randomly in the wilderness. And no, I don't have the slightest clue as to what the point of this is supposed to be. Scaring little kids, maybe. He's definitely quite the eccentric. This is where he lives. Huh. This aged man definitely knows how to make himself comfortable. All right. I think that's enough. Now let's see how we can get in there. These busts look interesting. Keep your chin up. Yes? What do you want? Look best to my sir. Are you the... I'm the servant, so no, I'm not. And if you're looking for charity, you've come to the wrong place. We are in beggars, so we are merchants. And we were told that your master is some kind of collector. We think that we have something that might interest him. Do you now? So what could two traveling merchants dressed in rags have that might be of interest to my master? This. Hmm. This is the silver brooch of a seraph. Where did you get this? That's unimportant. What matters is that I intend to sell it. Uh-huh. Well then, this changes the situation. You may enter. Plus, forgive my harshness. I misjudged you. Unfortunately, Master Gages is currently playing music and will be at least until dawn. But you can make yourself comfortable in the guest room. He will see to you in the morning. Okay, that sounds good. Today we wouldn't have made it back to Ark anyway. Just try to get a Myrid Warden to fly in this weather. Hmm. So, nice house you've got here. So it's just you and your master who live here, right? People talk about him a lot. Please, let's just save the small talk. You're here for business.
Good. Now follow me upstairs. I'll show you to your quarters. As I said already, Master Gages will play through the night. My apologies if his music keeps you awake, but if you want a piece of advice, listen. You won't hear anything comparable in all of Vin. Well then, we'll do just that. So I take it your master's an artist, right? I saw the puppets. They're interesting. Interesting. Yes, that they are. Master Gages always says art is unique because it allows us to see what our mind doesn't want us to see. What's that supposed to mean? Well, we all have demons inside of us, don't you agree, Miser Dalvaric? Memories, truths about ourselves, we've locked away somewhere in our unconscious because we don't want to confront them. True art surpasses all these barriers because it reminds us of who we truly are. Hmm. Interesting thought. All right, here we are. Make yourselves at home. I will inform you once the Master is ready to see you. Uh, by the way, Call it intuition or premonition, but I somehow had the feeling we would have company tonight and took the liberty of preparing a small meal. I'm afraid the meat is a little charred, but it should taste good. Now, please excuse me. I have to rest. It is late, and the day has been exhausting. Of course. Sleep well. And thanks for your hospitality. Thanks. You're welcome. And there he goes. Call me paranoid, but this all went a little too smooth for my liking. You're right. There was something else about that guy. Yeah. For example, the fact that he was already standing near the gate when you rang, and that he lives with a man who's older than the Black Guardian, at least according to the legends. But, well, to each his own. So what do you want to do now? Wait. Yeah. One or two hours at least. Until this servant's asleep. I've got a skin of wine with me, so if you want, we could enjoy it in the meantime. I wouldn't touch this food if I were you. You could tell me about this trial while we're waiting. Or about anything. Just distract me from those damn ugly puppets over there. Hmm. Interesting thought. The thing about the last moment that lasts forever. Did you know... The Kyrian mentalists are apparently able to sort of become aware in their dreams. And apparently, in a dream, one can exist free from time. There's a story about an arcanist who spent 1,000 years in a dream while he only slept eight hours in his waking life. But, well, that's a topic on its own. I think it's late enough for our little excursion now. Let's find that relic. There it is. Master Gaius's music that transcends all barriers. Hmm. As jolly as this place. artifact. Maybe he's hiding it in some kind of chest or a secret chamber. Let's look around.
Books, books, books. There must be hundreds. We have to find this artifact. Maybe he's hiding it in some kind of chest or a secret chamber. Let's look around. find this artifact. Maybe he's hiding it in some kind of chest or a secret chamber. Let's look around. Looks like some kind of study. Maybe we could find something here. We should take a look at these bookshelves. They look kind of weird. must be part of some kind of mechanism. Have you tried, I don't know, pulling on them or something like that?
find this artifact. Maybe he's hiding it in some kind of chest or a secret chamber. Let's look around. Sounds good. I... Hey! 